Welcome to Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. I'm Michelle Newman. Tonight's program is all about primates. And like all Wheels Up episodes, it has three segments. First, I'll take you on a trip around the world, exploring how we can tell apes and monkeys apart. Next, we'll craft with Caroline, making some fun primate crafts. And finally, I hope you'll shout out your answers and play along with Primates Trivia. Apes and monkeys are mammals, and they're part of the primate family, just like you and I. Today, I thought it would be fun to take a trip around the world looking at all kinds of different primates. Monkeys, lemurs, tarsiers, lorises, and apes are our cousins, and we've all evolved from a common ancestor that lived tens of millions of years ago. Primates are surprisingly variable in size, They range all the way from the pygmy mouse lemur that weighs less than two ounces and can fit in the palm of your hand, to the gorilla that grows to as much as 440 pounds in the wild and even heavier in captivity. Primates are generally lively, clever, and very successful at adapting to different environmental opportunities. They're highly intelligent with large brains relative to their size. Almost all primates have five fingers on each hand and five toes on each foot, making grasping of objects easy. Their fingers and toes are mobile and they have very sensitive tactile pads at the tips, unlike most other mammals. They even have flat nails in place of rigid claws, which makes manipulating bits of food much easier. The primate's ability to grip is based on the opposable thumb, meaning it can move freely and independently of other fingers. While it is present to some extent in all primates, it's most highly developed in humans. But unlike humans, all other primates have the ability to grasp objects with both their hands and their feet. All primates have unusually flexible shoulder joints, which allows them to use their arms very effectively in climbing trees. As their nose progressively shrank in size over millions of years, there was a corresponding increase in vision. All living primates have forward-facing eyes, which give them excellent depth perception, which allows them to easily judge the distance between trees. Most primates spend their lives in large social groups. For many, a large community provides protection. Most of their waking hours are spent socializing with each other, which is made easier by complex vocalizations and visual displays. In addition, they regularly groom each other by picking out bugs, thereby keeping clean and satisfying emotional needs at the same time. These groups are called troops. Most primates have adapted to an arboreal or tree living way of life. They can leap from tree to tree and swing between branches. On land, they can walk on two limbs or knuckle walk on four limbs. Some primates live primarily on the ground rather than in trees, but even these often sleep in the trees. The most notable exceptions are humans and gorillas. Both of these species live on the ground with occasional tree climbing for fun, especially by children. Today, non-human primates live in the thicket of forests and trees and most prefer the warm tropical and subtropical regions. While there is fossil evidence that primates at one time lived in North America, that's not been true for millions of years. So the only non-human primates in North America are in zoos. While it's true that most primates really do love the warmth, a very few like the snow. Japanese marques occupy forested mountains and highlands in the northernmost regions of Japan. They thrive in winter temperatures that dip as low as minus 15 degrees and live in snow that is about three feet deep. Japanese macaques are more commonly known as snow monkeys, and you often see photos of them bathing in hot thermal pools to keep warm in Japan's chilly winters. I expect you know that monkeys and apes are not the same thing, right? But how do you tell them apart? The quickest and easiest way to tell monkeys and apes apart is to look at their tail. Apes do not have tails, Well, most monkeys do. Apes have arms that are longer than their legs, so they can swing through trees and even walk upright on two legs, whereas monkeys' arms are short, requiring them to run along branches and mostly walk on all fours. But most importantly, apes have bigger brains and are much more intelligent than monkeys. In fact, they're so intelligent that some apes have been taught to use sign language. 
Coco, a Western lowland gorilla, was an international celebrity with a vocabulary of more than 1,000 signs and the ability to understand 2,000 words of spoken English. Another sign of intelligence is the ape's use of small tools. For instance, they use a stick to poke into anthills. Then when they pull it out, the stick becomes a yummy lollipop with insects clinging to it. Apes like monkeys are very social and love living in large groups. They sleep on trees too, though mostly travel on land. And do you know what their favorite food is? Yes, right, it's bananas and other fruits. They like eating leaves and seeds too, and some apes eat insects and small animals. Do you know where you can find an ape? Yes, the zoo, I know, but where in the wild? Well, apes love the warm and hot climate, so the rainforests in Southeast Asia and Africa are their favorite habitats, and they're not in any of the Americas. Let's take a closer look at a few different types of apes. Did you know the DNA? That's the material that determines how a living thing will look and function of chimpanzees and humans is almost exactly the same. That's how closely related we are. As a result, we share many similar features, such as expressive faces, big toes, and hands that can grasp. We also show similar behavior and live in large social groups. Like us, chimps laugh when playing, hug to show affection, and are able to walk upright. After humans, chimpanzees are the most intelligent of our planet's primates, and they talk by using different gestures, facial expressions, and vocalizations such as hoots, grunts, and screams. Bonobos look somewhat like a small chimpanzee. They walk a lot like us, more than other apes, because of their longer thigh bone and longer feet. One thing of note is in a bonobo society, females are in charge. Orangutans are red-haired apes that live in the tropical rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. They spend most of their time up in trees, where they use their long, strong arms and hook-shaped hands to climb and swing from branch to branch. Come bedtime, they sleep in leafy nests, high off the ground, where it's harder for hungry enemies, such as leopards and other big cats, to get them. Unlike other apes, these gangly guys do not live in groups. A female may have a baby or two with her, but males like to be alone. For a long time, the image most people had of a gorilla encounter included chest pounding, roaring, charging, and big bared teeth. But researchers studying gorillas reveal a very different picture. While large, they're peaceful, gentle, social, and mainly vegetarian creatures. Their communities usually consist of a single dominant adult male called a silverback. Gibbons are famous for the swift and graceful way they swing through the trees by their long arms. This way of moving makes gibbons the fastest ape. They can travel at a speed of up to 34 miles per hour, which is around the same speed as a galloping racehorse. Now that we've looked at some apes, let's take a look at some monkeys. To many, the word monkey may mean just one thing, some vine-swinging tree-dwelling primate, usually brown, fuzzy, and cute. But did you know there are actually over 250 different species of monkeys? These species are divided into two main groups, Old World and New World. The term Old World refers to the areas, Europe, Africa, and Asia, known to the Europeans prior to the discovery of the New World, the Americas. But their homes are not the only ways in which they are different. New World monkeys are members of five different primate families and consist almost exclusively of tree-dwelling species like marmosets, tamarins, capuchins, and spider monkeys. Old World monkeys spend much of their time on the ground, but can be found in habitats ranging from rainforest to the savanna to the mountains. Old World monkeys are maquis baboons, and vervet monkeys. One of the di biggest differences between these two groups of monkeys is their tails. On one hand, some species of New World monkeys possess prehensile tails, meaning they can use their tails to grasp or hold on to objects. Their tails can aid these monkeys in finding and eating food in the canopy, as well as moving amongst the trees, as their tails provide extra support and balance. On the other hand, Old World monkeys all have tails, but they lack the ability to grasp objects. 
The world's fastest primate, the patis monkey, can run on the ground at speeds of up to 55 kilometers or 34 miles per hour. Patis monkeys walk on their fingers, not on their palms, and when relaxed, they lean back and put up their feet. They've been called the dancing monkey because they jump when they are excited. Patis monkeys can hold as much food in their cheeks as they can in their stomachs. The snub-nosed monkey belongs to the family of old world monkeys and is famous for its very tiny nose. Something devolved because of its extreme cold. Unlike most primates, it lives high up in the mountains of northern China, where they are surrounded by snow for at least six months a year. Unlike the Japanese macaques, these monkeys do not have access to hot water springs. That's why, along with an inward-facing nose, the monkeys have other features which protect it from freezing. They warm themselves with big furry coats, which cover everything except their eyes, nose, and mouth. Even their hands are covered, making them look like they're wearing little mittens. This highly social species can form groups of up to 400 individuals. When food and other resources become scarce, these groups can split up and still decent chunks of around 60 to 70. High in the rainforest canopy of South America lives a tiny animal. It dodges behind tree trunks and branches, freezing and dashing just like a squirrel. It also has brown fur and a long tail like a squirrel, but it's a pygmy marmoset, the world's smallest monkey. Marmosets and their cousins, tamarins, are some of the tiniest primates around. A fully grown pygmy marmoset could fit in an adult human's hand, and it weighs about as much as a stick of butter. But there's nothing tiny about a pygmy marmoset's tail. It's longer than its body. The tail can't grasp anything, but it helps that little monkey keep its balance as it gallops through the treetops. At the other end of the spectrum, big and brilliant, mandrills are the largest and most colorful of the old world monkeys. Their furry head crest, mane and beard are quite impressive. But what grabs your attention is their bright colors. They have thick ridges along the nose that are purple and blue, red lips and nose, and a golden beard. They almost look like they're not real. They have long arms and can travel long distance on the ground. They do climb trees, though, and even sleep there. They have large cheek pouches inside their mouth that they can stuff full of food to eat at a later time. Mandrels live in troops, which are headed by a dominant male and include a dozen or more females and young. Well, our trip around the world looking at primates has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned an interesting fact or two. Do you have a favorite primate? Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm so excited to do arts and crafts with you today. Today's video was all about primates, so today we're going to make an origami monkey bookmark and a swinging monkey craft. I hope you have fun! So for the origami monkey bookmark, you will need two different colored pieces of paper, and I'm using origami paper, which is cut already into a square, but if you have regular paper like this, you can make it into a square. So what you would do is you can take one side and fold it into a triangle like this, and then you would cut off this part and then open it back up and then you'll have a square. You will also need glue and scissors. So first I'm gonna use the brown paper for the monkey's body. So I'm gonna show you how to fold that. So the first step is you wanna take one of the points and fold it to the top and then crease it down. And then you take this side and fold it up like this. And then do the same thing with the other side. And then you open them back up. And then you take only one, cause there's two here, but you only need one and fold it down. And then you take this side and you fold it like this. And then you fold it back down. And then the same thing with the other side. Want to fold it inside. 
And now you have the monkey's body. So now I'm going to cut out the shapes that we need for the monkey's face. So first, we need an oval for the monkey's mouth. And now I'm going to fold my paper in half and then fold it again so I can make four circles. And I'm going to cut it on the open side. So I'm gonna cut a circle and this is going to be for the eyes and the ears. So now I have my four circles and my oval. So I just trimmed down two of the circles that are gonna be for my eyes because they were a little bit too big. But now I'm going to glue on all of the parts of the monkey's face. So first I'm going to glue on the monkey's mouth and it can hang off a little bit like that. Then I'm going to glue on the eyes and the eyes can hang over onto the mouth a little bit also. Like this. And now I'm going to glue on the monkey's ears. And for this part, I'm only going to put glue on half of the circle so that when I glue it on, it looks like this. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And now I'm going to draw with my black marker, I'm going to draw the pupils inside of the monkey's eyes. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white on the inside. Like that. And now I'm going to draw the nose and the mouth. And now you have your bookmark. And so if you're reading a book, you can put your bookmark where you left off. And then when you open up your book, it's right where you left off. Today's video was about primates, but you can also make all of these really fun bookmarks too. For the swinging monkey craft, you will need green paper, brown paper, and white paper, scissors, a straw, glue, and something to draw the monkey's face with. So I'm using a black marker. So first I'm going to use my brown paper and I'm going to cut a thick rectangle that's across the short side of my paper. So I'm gonna cut all the way across like that. And now I'm going to cut a short, a cut like this on one side and then the same thing on the other side like that. And now for the monkey's legs, we're going to fold it like this. And then same on the other side like that. So now on the other side, I'm going to take my straw and put it on the end. And I'm going to start rolling it. And then I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to put a lot of glue over here. And then I'm going to continue rolling it and don't roll it too tight and continue rolling it and then make sure it sticks down. Now it should look like this. So now the monkey should be able to flip and swing on its branch, which is like the straw. And so make sure that the glue doesn't touch the straw when you're rolling it up. So this doesn't really look like a monkey, so we need to turn it into a monkey. So now we need to make our monkey's belly. So I'm using my white paper and it's going to be a little bit smaller than the width of our monkey. So I'm going to measure that off and then make it a little bit smaller than that. And it should be about this tall. So you can measure that too, just like that. 
and now I'm going to cut it out. So now this is what mine looks like. And now I'm going to glue it on to my monkey. So now I'm gonna make the monkey's ears. So we need two white circles and two brown circles. So I'm going to fold my white paper in half and then cut out a circle like this. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my brown paper. So now I'm going to glue my white circle inside of my brown one and I'm just going to put some glue at the top of my white circle and then I'm going to stick it on the inside like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And now I'm going to glue them onto my monkey. So I'm going to put some glue on the white part and then stick it here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to cut out a big circle for our monkey's head. So now I cut out my monkey's head and I'm going to glue it on so that it covers some of the white part of the ears and so that you can still see most of the belly so that it should be pretty high up. And when I cut it, you might need to trim it a little bit so that it fits on well. So now this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to cut two circles and an oval for the mouth. So now I have my two circles for my eyes and the oval for the mouth. So I'm going to glue it on now. And then I'm going to glue the mouth on underneath so that it looks like this. And now I'm going to draw on with my black marker. I'm going to draw the pupils for inside of the eyes and I'm going to leave a little bit of white on the inside and then I'm also going to draw the nose and the smile for our monkey. So now it should look like this and the final step is I'm going to cut a really long tail for my monkey out of some brown paper. So I'm going to cut a thin strip all the way across the short side of the paper. And now, since I want my monkey's tail to be curved, I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to twist it a little bit on the end so that the monkey's tail is going up like that. And now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end and glue it on the back. And now we have the swinging monkey. So it can do flips and it can swing across its branch. I hope you had fun making these primate themed crafts with me. Bye. Welcome to Primate Trivia. There are 10 questions with four answers, only one of which is correct. I hope you'll play along. Who's ready to play? Question number one. On which continent are primates not found? A, South America, B, North America, C, Africa, or D, Asia? On which continent would you not find a primate? Except, of course, in the zoo. Answers, please. And the answer is B, North America. Question number two. What is the primary difference between monkeys and apes? They're not the same, you know. A, apes don't have tails. B, apes don't climb trees. C, apes are not as intelligent. Or D, apes are smaller. Hmm. Answers, please. And your answer is... Hey, apes don't have tails, only monkeys. Question number three, which primate is pictured here? A, gorilla, B, spider monkey, C, pygmy mouse lemur, or D, 
mandrel. Hmm, they are so colorful and interesting. And the answer is, it's a D, mandrel. Did you get that right? Question number four. A gorilla named Coco was able to communicate using what? A, speech, B, sign language, C, paper and pen, or D, flags. Hmm, what were they able to use? And the answer is B, sign language. What a smart gorilla. Question number five. Which primate shares the most DNA with humans? A, gorilla, B, chimpanzee, C, orangutan, or D, gibbon? Hmm, which one shares the most DNA with humans? And the answer is B, chimpanzee. Question number six. What is another name for an adult male gorilla? A, big boy. B, great ape, C, old man, or D, silverback. Hmm, those gorillas are cute. And answers, please. And the answer is D, silverback. Question number seven. What's the difference between an old world and a new world monkey? Is it A, geography, B, age, C, diet, or D, color. Monkeys are classified as either old world or new world. And what is that? It's based on A, geography. Question number eight. Which of these is not a monkey? A capuchin, a marmoset, an orangutan, or a mandrel? Hmm. Which of these is not a monkey at all? all? And the answer is C, orangutans. They're apes, not monkeys. Question number nine. Why do Japanese maki monkeys take a dip in thermal springs? A, to wash off their fur. B, to cool off. C, to keep warm. Or D, to catch fish. Why do they go in those thermal springs and the answer is C to keep warm because it's cold in Japan winters. Question number 10 and final question. What group of animals do primates belong? A reptiles, B amphibians, C birds or D mammals? And the answer is D mammals. Well, I hope you enjoyed playing primate trivia and learning about monkeys and apes from around the world. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more Wheels Up episodes on different topics, head over to Sunrise Association on YouTube. We have our own playlist.